rolling on here. Keep on that. What up, everybody? Welcome back to CBTV. It's your boy, Chingo Bling. And your girl, Money Song. And we are... The Blings. Today, the Blings are going to be making some dirty horchata. What is dirty horchata, Money Song? Well, it's horchata with coffee, but we're going to use cold brew. Usually, I think they use instant Sometimes coffee. Sometimes, I think espresso. I think espresso, something like your that. Your choice. Your choice. But we're going to start with making horchata from scratch. None of that in a can shit, in a bottle shit, none of that. We're going to make from none of that, scratch. None of that fountain drink, 7-Eleven horchata. We, Authentic. We're talking about my son's grandma's recipe. <laughs> All right, y'all. So let's get started. We're going to make the horchata first, and then we're going to show you the rest. Dirty horchata with the blends. There you go. All right, so what you'll need is your three-fourths cup rice, three quarts of water, one can of evaporated milk, one can of condensed milk, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and ground cinnamon. All right, guys, so we're gonna get started with the first step. We've left the rice soaking overnight, and I preferably like to do it this way. I actually add the cinnamon sticks. I prefer Ceylon cinnamon sticks because they're just a lot more, uh, I guess. Say who? Ceylon. Okay. Some people say Ceylon. Oh, okay. Um, so I do leave it soaking overnight. So we couldn't find vanilla beans, but if you find them, guys, pour, put them in there and leave it soaking. The flavor is amazing, but we did use, that's where we used the vanilla extract, and that's where that came in. So now that we've let it soak overnight, we're gonna go ahead and pour it into the blender. We may have to add more water because we are trying to make enough. I was nervous right there. All right, guys, so I like to put the cinnamon sticks in there uh, the, so that I get a little bit more of the flavor. I don't put all of them. I just try to find the smaller pieces to grind. So next, I'm just going to go ahead and grind everything up. All right, so I am going to add a little bit more vanilla extract just so that it's nice and sweet. So we'll go ahead and put our... Go, let's blend again. All right, so this is gonna be really, to be honest with you, to your liking, but the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add the evaporated milk. And you do use the whole thing. And then for the, um, what is this called? Condensed. Condensed milk. You don't have to use all of it, which I'm not, because I don't want it too, too sweet. But we are gonna use about half of it. that's going to be fire. All right, so here we go. Let's blend it again. So now that we've blended, I need you to get a lot closer to me because otherwise I'm going to have to drop all this. So we still need the strainer, guys, because a lot of the pieces of the cinnamon will be stuck here, the rice. There we go. So that is your homemade horchata. Let's clean up. All right, guys, so we're finally to the end of this dirty horchata coffee. So I'm gonna use cold brew, guys, just because that's my preference. And actually, you need to pour the amount of coffee you want. So I'm gonna do about half. Yeah, because this is already, you know, close to dinner time. And uh, although we are coffee crackheads, you want to go ahead and pour yeah, it though? Let's do this. Ooh, dirty. Wow. Extra dirty horchata. What you think? Let me see that one. Here we go. How dirty is your horchata going to be? Like How that? dirty is your horchata? I need a little bit more, though. You know, make sure you there you go. Your ratio is exactly. right. Exactly. 
Uh, I think it's got plenty of cinnamon, but uh, you can All always right, add a little finishing touch. Let's do it. Ready? And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Homemade horchata. Actually, dirty horchata. All right. You want to do it? Cheers. 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 Enjoy. Yes. Here we if go. you try it at home, make sure you tag us, Cooking with the Blings. And, guys, every time you fire. Yeah. Okay. So don't forget, guys, every time you use the hashtag Cooking with the Blings, we will feature you on our Instagram story. So don't forget. And yeah, shout you out. So enjoy. Homemade dirty Wowzers. What would you change on the next go around? I still feel it's not um, cinnamony enough for me. And it's, it's not. Really? Um, also, because, let's be, I'm gonna be, uh, these are the outros real quick. See, what happened was. <laughs> Chingo brought me Indian cinnamon sticks. It said Fiesta on it. So just because it said Fiesta, he assumed they were the right ones. So I had to mix the Indian cinnamon sticks with the Ceylon cinnamon sticks, which is probably the reason why I don't have that cinnamony, cinnamony flavor in there. So, you know, it's real horchata is made that way. So anyhow, uh, it still tastes you pretty good. I'm good. But um, I, I would maybe add a little bit more condensed milk. Condensed milk, more than one. Just because, like, it sounds right. It's not sweet enough. Maybe because the coffee it is offset in some of the. Mm. It's cutting through, so it's nice. It's light. It's refreshing. Uh, I think we did a pretty good job. Yeah. Uh, I don't really like sweet coffee, guys. Personally. So I stay away from sweet coffee. Except for that. I like to except be for, able to taste my coffee. Except for Vietnamese iced coffee. Okay, that's the exception to the rule. Yeah. So, anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Again, if you make this at home, be sure you tag us. Use hashtag cooking with the blings. And don't forget, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the button, and all that. See you guys on the next cooking video.